everybody. I... Hey everybody, uh, today I want to do a story time. I haven't been on for a while, I haven't done anything for ages. I just kind of had like a mind block, I don't know what to do, I'm just doing really random things and I really want people to enjoy my content and want to come back and watch it again and I feel like I want to start doing like a story time and I love talking, I love talking about things that happen and this one particular thing that I want to talk about um, has always stuck with me and I just really want to like tell people and it's getting closer to Christmas so it, it's kind of like a I guess a holiday special of story. I used to work at a BP. Well I booked that I've worked at two BPs but this is my first BP job and if people that know me they know where that was and um, I really liked this job. They were really nice um, the people I worked for were really nice and they're still really lovely. I still talk to them today and I see them, I say hi. They're really great, really friendly and um, so this was like one of my first really serious jobs. I worked there for about one and a half, two years and I loved it. Um, anyway, um, around about Christmas time, um, oh I'm not sure what year it would be. Let me work this out. About 2013. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was probably about 16 going on 17. So, yeah, about 2013. Um, it was around about this time of the year. It was nearly getting close to Christmas. A lot of people were traveling to families and friends and seeing everybody. And um, I was working one night. I did a lot of like four to nines and had kind of like, I worked the front myself, so I served all those people between those times and um, this one lady came in one night, it was probably about a few days before Christmas, probably about two or three days before Christmas and um, she came in with like all these bits and pieces of jewellery and stuff and like things that looked pretty valuable to her and um she came in she came to the desk and she um put them on the desk and she's like do you think I could get any fuel for this and I was just like I was confused at the start I was just like oh I'm not sure if I can do that sorry um I don't know what the jewellery's worth and I'm not sure and um, she's she's like oh, oh no that's okay I'll just oh, and I'm like okay no worries and so she went outside and she went back to her car she pulled away from like the fuel tanks and went and parked and um, I actually had to like go to the loo so I went to the loo and she was in her car and she was crying and I was like and I was just, I don't know, for some reason, something told me just to go up to her. Um, so I went up to her and I um, asked her what was wrong and she was, she was coming from kilometres and kilometres away. Like, and she was only about an hour away from her destination and she, she was trying to get trying to get to this place to see her son for Christmas and I was just shocked I I was just like really and she told me her trip and how she didn't have much money and she really wanted to see her son for Christmas that her parents I think had him because she was going through some stuff and they took him away and the only way she could see him is if she went to them 
um, they wouldn't come to her even though they knew that she didn't have the funds to do it and so she, she just grabbed all her loose change what she had around her and put fuel in and started driving and made it to the BP that was my BP and she was telling me how she didn't get to see him for Easter, she didn't get to see him for his birthday and she really wants to try harder and go see him but doesn't have the money for it and she, the fact that she was so close to being there I just I just was like you know what I will put $20 of fuel in your car for you and the look on her face was just amazing it made me so much happier and I felt so I just felt like I did good and that a mother was actually gonna see her son for that Christmas and I haven't really told many people about this I'm not sure if I've really told anybody I can't remember but I probably told my parents that night but I yeah, she put, she thanked me, she said she'd pay me back, she added me on Facebook, she, she was so thankful and I told her not to worry about it, that if she gets to see her son and if she gets to be there with him for Christmas, that's all I, all I want. And she was so thankful, I've never, I've never just, I've never felt for someone so much and I just was so happy that I could help someone especially around Christmas and especially I could see that she was trying and I could see that she'd been struggling and just to be able to l let her see her son for Christmas was the most amazing thing ever. Um, I'm not sure, I can't remember her name anymore, I have a new Facebook so she's probably on my old one, um, on my old friends and I don't know how she's going and I don't know just around this time every year I always think about that time that I helped her out and that like I just imagine her son's face lighting up when he got to see her and oh he was he was about seven eight years old um she told me a bit about him and yeah I yeah that's my my story um about the time I help someone so they could see their son and I feel like that's probably the best thing I've ever done so far for somebody and I'm just I just hope that things have worked out for her now and I hope that she gets to see her son more or even if she's got cust like custody of her son now Either way, I hope that they're all in a great place right now. I just imagine how many more Christmases they might have got to spend together for her making that effort to get there and showing her parents that she really wants to be there for him. And yeah, so that's my story. Anyway, if you liked this story and you want to hear more, uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe um, Yeah, I just really wanted to tell everybody it was something that I've always wanted to tell People and I've just I don't know it just felt like in my head now I just imagine that she still gets to see him and stuff and Maybe one day I'll make a video and try and figure out who she was and um, look at my old Facebook and see if I can find her and ask how she's going and stuff. But for now, I thought I'd give you this story and yeah, I hope you have a great day, night, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this. And I will see you later. Bye.